next. This is a showcase of two of the most vicious strikers in the game today. Between Marina Moreau and Joanne, Jojo Calderwood. Joanne Calderwood, ready to go to battle inside the octagon. She is coming off what she is calling the most focused training camp of her entire career. And for this camp, they really zeroed in on her conditioning, on her cardio. She felt that was something that was lacking in the last fight. And tonight, she said, I can go five rounds if I needed to. This girl is one of the best in the business at holding fighters down, controlling them from the top position, and beating them up. She's so good at holding position and keeping fighters where she wants them to be. Marina Moreau, very focused, well prepared, and looking for a big victory tonight. This girl has amazing top control. She is so good at keeping the fight on the ground. Once she gets you there, it is very rare that you see her lose positions. She's just so strong in the top position. Marina Morose enters the octagon looking for the victory. Our tail of the tape for this strawweight battle. Moroz is 24, Calderwood is 29. Moroz will have a two inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue a Muay Thai kickboxer for the professional record of 11 wins, one loss. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. And now it goes to the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 8 wins, 1 loss. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Marina Herb Dean, our referee for this strawweight matchup. Ready. Here we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trucks for Calderwood. Black trucks for New Orleans. Good defense with the parry. Big front kick. Nice Nicely front kick. done. Good jab. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Nicely done to avoid the clinch. Now they're turning it up. Oh, my goodness, how quick was that, Joe? That connected. She moves to north-south position. Half guard. She gets in a full guard here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Postured up. She's now established side control again. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who don't know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people in the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people break bricks with that on ESPN. <laughs> in reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45-degree elbow or, or what have you. She's taking her back now. Calderwood gets caught with the left. Got the mount again. 
Postures up here. Attacking the arm here. Under three minutes. Almost had the arm bar. Back up. Punishing roundhouse kick. Great exchanges. To the body. Burrows with a nice jab. Colter was hooked to the body. Blocked. Nice counter right. Joe, she's really staying busy on her feet. Nice jab. Very snappy jab. Head oh, kick. Good shots. Burrows gets the takedown. Sweet, very good move. Under two minutes on the clock here. Both hooks in. Into full guard. Nice reversal. Good work from the bottom by Calderwood. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Burroughs gets it to side control. Very nicely timed sweep, and now she's in half guard. Look at that. Full mount. Burroughs is going for an arm here. Looks like she's got that arm locked. She got her arm out. Back up again. That left misses. That's a good kick to the body by Calderwood. Nice hook. Looking for the single. That's a big takedown late in the round. Burrows with a nice punch from the bottom. Full guard here. Good punch. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Trying to take the back here. Final seconds of round number one. Full mount. Oh Round one God. comes to a close. Awesome round. Very, very close to finishing. I need you to stay a little bit tighter. I need you to stay a little bit tighter and have patience, okay? Let's not force... Let's take a look at some of the action in that round. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see that again. Beautiful submission attempt. It looks good, but can't get it. The lovely Brittany getting a set for round number two. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Joe, that was a big round. Marina Morose's submission attempt nearly finished the fight. Nearly finished the fight with that submission attempt. It was very close. Oh, solid jab. Looking for a body shot. Nice job slipping the punch. Big takedown. In full guard. She's showing good defense here. She's got that arm trapped. Looking to do some damage from the bottom. And there's a reversal. Nice sweep. Escape. Gets out of the full mount. Oh, 
smooth, Joe. And very nice transition to side control. Elbow. It appears the cut on her face is getting worse. Joe. What a fight! And it is all over! Big ground and pound KO. Time now for our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Here it is from a different angle. Great angle here. Bam! Out cold. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 18 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanne Calderwood. Joanne Calderwood wins by knockout. It's a middleweight matchup between the former Pride champion, Dan... A true UFC history, Nick Diaz, the Caesar Gracie Brazilian only combat. The former Strikeforce welterweight champion is back to showcase his skills tonight. Nick Diaz combines attitude with elite cardio, a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and outstanding boxing to make for a dangerous combination inside the octagon. Nick Diaz enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. the Olympian who represented the United States in Greco-Roman wrestling in 1992 and 1996. And to this day, Hendo is the only man to ever hold the belt in two weight classes at the same time. Dan Henderson is as dangerous opponent as you can face. An Olympic-level wrestler with knockout power in both hands. He also has been competing at a championship level in this sport since 1999. Dan Henderson enters the octagon here in Los Angeles, California. Our kill of the tape for this middleweight fight. Henderson is 13 years his elder. Diaz will have a two-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is three rounds of the UFC middleweight division. It's an easy person. Fighting at the three point. A jiu jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record of 26 wins, 9 losses, and 2 no contests. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Nick! And now to his opponent, fighting out the red corner. A Greco Roman wrestler, only a professional record of 32 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 485 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, Tan Hendo! Hendo's And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the the veteran, Herb Dean, our referee, right. Mike Goldberg, right. Joe Rogan. We are set for the start of round number one. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Diaz. Black trunks for Henderson. Dan Henderson's takedowns are amongst the best in the sport. Sometimes people sleep on that because his knockout power is so feared.
Nice jab. Doing a good job with his striking. Hard hook. We got ourselves a fight. Can't connect with the jab. Nice shot. Drops down for a double. He's fired up. And there's the right hand. hand. He's now working from side control again. Half guard here. Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. Throws the other leg over the face. He's got that arm bar locked up. And he gets out of it. Deep arm bar. Beautiful escape. Hammer fist. He tries to move into half guard here. Henderson with a punch that connects. Here in half guard, you're all good there. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Half guard. Three minutes. Full guard here. Well timed kick. Steps forward with his right leg. Now he's in southpaw. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. Diaz with the jab. He lands a clean combination. The Olympian, Hendo. Dan Henderson with the takedown. He's got half guard. Back to full guard. Man, that's just good ground here. That's a solid punch by Henderson. Big shot from the bottom. And he controls Nick in side control now. Wow, quick movement on the ground. Under two minutes now. Full mount, look at this. Posture's up. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. He takes his back. And right back to side control. Nice work from the bottom. In half guard position. Move back to north-south. Working for the choke here, trying to get that arm underneath the back of the neck. And he got his head up. Half guard. Henderson's passed to now. He's looking to take the back. He avoids damage with the nice block. Excellent jab by Diaz. Oh, and he ate a front kick. kick with some big kicks. Good takedown defense. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. And he avoids the submission. Very nicely done. Full guard now. And he gets reversed. Nice sweep. Now he's in the guard. He keeps busy from the bottom. Man, he really timed that sweep. He's in half guard. Took the back mount. First round in the books. Let's take a look at some of the actions in this round. Here's a nice double leg takedown. There we see it again.
And here's a very nicely executed double leg takedown. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. And there she is, the lovely Brittany. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Dan Henderson's ground game has been very dominant, and he was the much better fighter in that last round. Yes, his ground game was clearly dominant in that round. You could see the timing in the takedowns and the control of the top position. An amazing job. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. That's a middle, big uppercut he just landed. What a jab. How good is this? Gigantic kicks. There's a left that connects. Staying busy. Henderson gets back to side control. Now able to posture up. The amount of damage that has been done to his body makes you wonder if he's got a broken rib or two. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Very nice sweep. Winds up in his opponent's guard. He Vicious scores left with hand. a huge left. Nice transitions. Back in full guard. Oh, looking for his back. Oh, beautiful sweep. We have reached the midway point of this fight. Right to half guard. And he's trapped in half guard here. Looking for the H-bomb. Henderson gets it back to side control. Really good movement on the ground. It looks like he's trying to set up the north-south choke. Yes, he is. And he's free. Joey's really smothering his opponent with the crucifix. Dan Henderson with that dangerous right hand. Solid punch by Henderson. Nasty combination while he's got him trapped here in the crucifix. Oh, good left hand. Side control here again. Great movement on the ground. Hendo putting his power on his play. Nice sweep. Good work, guys. Come on. Dan Henderson's really doing a good job defending on his back. Here. His ability to defend on his back is absolutely textbook. Young fighters should learn from the way this guy handles himself. Man, he gave up his back. Not good. Half guard right now. Great work from the bottom. Mount again. He postures up. 
20 seconds. Half guard. Final seconds of round number two. Really good movement on the ground. We have completed two uh. rounds. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here we see a perfectly executed suplex. Beautiful submission attempt here, but right at the end, he slips out. Amazing highlights from that round. Ariani. Ready to fight. Ready. Five minutes remain in this fight. Dan Henderson's no doubt trying to finish this fight. He just couldn't lock in that submission in the last round. Yeah, he's trying hard, but was unsuccessful in that round. And you can definitely see he's going for it. Changing stances. Good connection with the straight by Nick. Those feints are the key to a strike center. Henderson's eyes are both starting to swell pretty badly now. Oh, there he connected. Wow. Nice uppercut. Good combination by Diaz. Get it, get it oh, he missed that kick. Nice jab. with another takedown. job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Dan Henderson! Dan Hendo Henderson, your winner by submission.
As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Hoist Gracie is ready to go to battle inside the octagon. Making his way to the octagon, looking to once again defend the title. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. enters the octagon for this bat at 205 pounds. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Liddell is 38, Gracie is 39. Liddell is one inch taller, the reach is identical. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The action begins. A referee in charge, Eagle Clubbing. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, a professional record of 13 wins, 2 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Goodbye. The fight is finally here. We have been talking about this matchup for months. Both men ready to lay it all on the line. And here we go. Remember, title fight by five-minute rounds. Chuck Liddell uses what we call his wrestling in reverse. We don't often see him go for the takedown, but because he has great takedown defense, that forces their, his opponents to fight his game. Yeah, he was really the first guy that really perfected that style. The style of using his great wrestling to avoid the takedown and to force guys to stand up and trade with him. And he has forced many a great submission specialist like Marula Bustamante was forced to stand with him. So many fighters are forced to play Chuck Liddell's game because his wrestling is so strong. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Nice foot stomp. Body shot. 
Nice foot stomp by Liddell. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. There he goes, and he takes the bat. He's got his back. He's got the jump. This could be it. That choke was tight. He got free. Wow. And in guard. Oh, that's an outstanding transition. Neither fighter's really doing anything. He postures into place. Really nice move. Big Huge elbow. elbow to the head. And he's going to try to take the back. Side control. Nicely done. Let's go. We got a scramble here. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. Solid strike to the head. Beautiful. Into mount. Big nice shot with the left. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. Oh, a big good left, left hand. Vicious ground and pound by the challenger. Oh! He's now back in north-south again. He's moved back into side control once more. He gets the over-under. Gracie's got double underhooks. Beautiful timing with that takedown. He's got some space now. He's posturing up. Gracie with a bunch to connect. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. 90 seconds. Half guard. Look dealt with good work from the bottom. That eye swole up so quick, Mike. You gotta wonder whether or not that's a fractured orbital. Staying busy on the ground. He's now working from side control again. Under a minute. And again, he's back into side control. He's going to try to take the back, I think. He's got one. He's got two hooks. 30 seconds remain in the round. He's got both hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Win the scramble. Win the scramble. Full back hooks. A mount. A mount. Full mount. Not good. Round one is complete. And the champion now knows he is in for a fight. And here we see a flying submission attempt. And here we see a perfectly executed trip. And let's look at that again from another angle. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Inspira pelo nariz, solta pela boca. Isso. Você estava ótimo nesse round. Vamos continuar o trabalho que você já vem fazendo. Manda. And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. You ready? You ready? 
All right, round two. We continue this championship fight, and so far, so good for the top contender. He has worked so long and hard for an opportunity to be a UFC champion, and I think it's safe to say that so far, he's been the better fighter. Nice jab. Combination by the champion. Good right left. There have been some vicious shots landed, and you can see the bruising on the left side of his body. Liddell with a solid leg kick. He was set up perfectly to block that hook. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Now he's got him in the plum clinch. Gracie's hook to the body is blocked. We go inside the numbers. Total strikes landed so far in this fight. He lands a hook from the clinch. Looks for that front kick, but missed it. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Nice kick to the body. Trying to go to the body. Both men landing in that exchange. And there's a nice straight by Gracie. Huge leg kick. And he's down. Nice takedown. Half guard. Three minutes remain in the round. Man, he's got the reversal. Big punch from the bottom. The referee hasn't decided to stand these guys up. Nice movement on the ground. He's got his back. He's got him flattened out on his back. Let's see what he can do from here. Oh, he's going for an arm bar. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. And he escaped the arm bar. Nice sweep here. He's got half guard. And he's in full guard. Passes into half guard. Liddell's right eye is looking pretty swift. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Trying to take the back here. Back to full guard. Wow. Inside control once again. Oh, there, there he goes. He full mount. There we go. Flattened out. He's working from his back again. He's got one leg in, in between him. So he's in half guard here. Nice right hand. Punch. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. One minute. Nice punch by Liddell. He lands an elbow here. Forty-five seconds. Half guard. He's back to side control. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Gracie's back in side control. Fifteen seconds. Big punch from the bottom. Right. A huge leg with the right hand. Moves to north-south. 
Round two comes to a close. Muito bom. Muito bom mesmo. Esse round foi ótimo. Garantiu pontos com as pedras e ganhou o round. Agora eu quero... Beautiful strike here. Lands on target. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's take a look at that from a different camera. Incredible highlights in that round. The lovely Ariane here tonight in Los Angeles, California. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Joe, that fight was nearly over in the last round. Hoist Gracie's submission attempt was very tough. That was a very close submission attempt and almost the end of the fight. Gracie with a strong leg kick. Delivered that right to the midsection of his opponent. Inside leg kick. Solid jab by Gracie. Gracie has really opened up, Mike. That's a big cut. Oh, man, that leg kick did some damage. Hard straight punch. Oh, big body kick. Upper with that uppercut. Vicious combination. Beautiful body shot there. Back and forth. Back. Good combination. There he is. Got the takedown. That front kick missed it. Good front kick. He clipped him. Lands a powerful kick. Oh, that caught him. Uh oh, these are big strikes. Strong jab. Oh, look at that. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Body kick, look at that. Two great warriors going to battle here. <laughs> Brutal knee to the body. Man, he's eating some heavy kicks. His right thigh is really starting to bruise up. Midway point of the fight. Control him, looks for the choke. He drops down for it. Could he pull it off right here? Trying to choke him out. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. Working from full guard. And the clinch. That's a punishing hook from the clinch. He's got the double. The Dells worked in that underhook. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Oh, he tagged him with that hook to the head. Hoist Gracie's continuing to attack that bad eye. He certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's going to be able to see the punches coming. Good control, postures up. Great punch by Liddell. He Beautiful scores punch. with a huge left. Side control. Hurt him with that right. Now he gets the full mount again. Dig with that punch. Left hand. Vicious ground and pound. Good right by Gracie. Now his other eye is really swelling. Postures up. Trying to get the mount. Full guard now. Thirty 
three seconds. He passes again into half guard. Great transitions on the ground. Gracie's in half guard again. Now he's in full guard. He's got a half guard here. Oh, great transition. 15 minutes in the books, and we are headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. And here we see a flying submission attempt. Here we see it from another angle. And let's look at that again. Ariane gets us set for round four. Ready? Ready? Round four. Championship round. Uncharted territory for many, but a place familiar for our UFC champion. That said, the top contender, Hanging Tuck, looks very good in this five-round fight. What a back-and-forth bat. Joe, we have made our way to the championship round. The championship rounds is what really separates the good fighters from the great fighters. In the last 10 minutes of a fight, you get to see the work that the guys put in the first 15, and you get to see who pulls out ahead. Liddell with a big jab. He scores with the leg kick. Caught him with a left. Blocked. Oh, he caught him. Liddell with a jab. Look at the numbers. Man, is he hard to take down. He's fainting with that kick. He clipped him with that one. Very nice shots landing. Got the clinch. He transitions to the tie clinch. Knee to the body by the champ. Misses the takedown. And he connects here. Joey set up that strike when he flicked the takedown. He's got heavy leg kicks. Man, the damage to his thigh is so excessive. I don't know how much longer he can stay in this fight. And there's another very nice kick. Good jab by Gracie. Nice knee to the body. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. That hook did damage. Under three. He's looking to take the back. He's got the back here. Flatten him out. Got the back mount here. He's gonna flatten him out. Looking for the rear naked choke. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. He escapes the rear naked choke. And great posture. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. Got the mount. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. That's a good, good shot right there. Very good shot. Big scores with a huge left. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Into full guard. Good shot to the head.
There's Look at that this. big oh right my hand. Goodness, he tagged him. Half guard. Huge bomb from the top. Gracie's back in half guard. He's back in the full guard now. Liddell with good connection from the bottom. He moves to stacking him now. Oh, wow. That was a big left hand he connected with. He's in half guard here. 20 seconds. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, looking for his back. He gets his back. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. One round remains in this UFC title fight. Boyce Gracie's really bleeding from that eyebrow again. I think the doctor's going to take a look at it. That cut on the brow is absolutely horrendous. They need to stop this fight. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. Oh, yeah. The beautiful Ariani. You ready? You ready? Five minutes remain in this title fight. The top contender has been outstanding. He has brought the fight to the champion. And now, the champion is looking at a scenario where if he does not finish his fight, he's going to lose his belt. And right behind it. Oh, that's nasty. Continuing to strike well. Boom, right on the button. Oh, he answers. He's got the clinch. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. Wow! He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. That's a big hook. left hook there. Gracie's got the double underhooks here. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Yeah, good beautiful. take down. Beautiful throw. Back to side control. Moves into full mount here. Gracie's looking for the arm. He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm. Tie and he got it out. On top and half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Now he's back into full guard. Great movement on the ground. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Full guard. Liddell gets caught by the elbow. Side control. Nicely done. Big what right a hand. huge right hand. Side control. He's taking his back now. From, uh, from a flattening out position, when you've got a guy face down, you can really hurt him with that position. Win the scramble, the scramble. He's got half guard. Gracie's cut on that brow is looking really bad, and it's really starting to bleed. He's moved back into side control. Gracie with good ground and pound. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. 
in the half guard. He lands a, a huge nasty elbow, elbow to the head. Gracie's inside control again. He's now working for full guard. He's back in his side control here. Working from north-south again. He's in half guard. Big elbow. Lands a hard shot with the left. Wow, quick movement on the ground. One minute remains in the fight. Chuck Liddell is starting to find the clock to be his enemy. He needs to make something big happen right now. He needs to make something happen. He is not going to win a decision. He's got to either KO his opponent or he's got to finish him with a submission. And he got back to guard. Look out for the arm. Look out for the arm. He popped out of the arm bar. He Nicely done. Guard. Gracie's eye looks so swollen now. You have to wonder if he suffered a fractured orbit. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. Liddell gives up his back. They go the distance, battling for 25 minutes inside the octagon. Now, the judges will render their decision, and we'll find out who will leave with the belt. Hoist Gracie's aggressiveness with his submission game was clearly evident tonight. And while he couldn't finish, he should have still earned the victory. Multiple submission attempts, and they were very, very close. Clearly the most significant aspect of this contest. Round four, looks good, in perfect position, attacks with the technique, but loses it. Round five, excellent submission attempt here. It looked very close, but on the last second, his opponent found his way out. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, and new! Voice Gracie is the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion. And what an exciting card tonight. For my partner Joe Rogan, this is Mike Goldberg saying so long until we see you next time inside the Octagon.